Hello everyone and welcome to your daily readings on Friday the 10th of May 2025. It's May already, can you believe it? This year is hurtling by. I'm doing our daily reading today from the original Wide Awake Tarot deck by A.E. White and designed by Pamela Coleman Smith. So without further ado, let's get our readings for this Friday. The 10th of May, I still can't believe we're already at the 10th of May. I hope some of you have got some of your beautiful goals coming into fruition. That's the energy of the day. We got a problem card, if there is one, and a solution. So yeah, I hope you've got your goals working in. If you're struggling with those, come have a coaching session with me. Um, you know, come and see if you, we can sit and go through the room, what you're doing, and talk it through, and I can help you with those goals. I've done quite well before with my clients. So without further ado, let's get our readings for today. So we have our energy of the day card. A problem if there is one and our solution so let's get the reading oh we got the devil card i don't know if we get dark cards for you guys it's quite a rarity so angels what are we saying yeah yeah okay so it's quite interesting because if you haven't watched monday tuesday wednesday thursday's readings do watch them because this literally falls in on it now we were talking about you moving forward. We were talking about you taking on your crown, being your full, sovereign, authentic self. Now, the reason this card's come up, and bear, bear in mind this isn't a scary card. Lots of people see it and they get very scared by it. It's the devil card, blah, 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 blah. It's not, and it's not religion. It's not linked to religion. It's not negative to religion. I do want to say these things because people do feel this sometimes. It's fine. It's just an image on a guard. <laughs> okay, just telling you, all right? But what it's saying, what the angels are saying is, some of you are addicted to, attached to, adversarial, adversarial people, components, situations, experiences. The angels are telling me, how well they, they, this, is, this is how they're wording it they're saying how do you wear your crown while you're allowing someone to hold you in like the stocks so they're holding you imprisoned in a viewpoint in a way of being in a situation in a lifestyle right this is what they're saying they're asking me to ask each of you to breathe in and then breathe out because this isn't for everyone. This is just the energy of that. Okay? Remember, this is just, remember when I do readings, these are the energies of the day. It doesn't make you this person. It's the energy. What are you... So there could be the, the chance that you allow someone to railroad you today. There could be the chance that you, you're not very sovereign today. You're not very authentic today in the sense that you allow another person to control your mind, your ideas, your vision, the things you're doing. What they're talking about here is you not allowing this. This is giving your power away. Okay, this is the best way I can put it. It literally is giving your power away. Can we put this here? It's what I told it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like that a lot. So yeah, so it's giving your power away and it's kind of like you are letting go of your energy of control. So the angels are asking me to say to you to not be in that space and we'll look at the energy and the problem and solution and see if it gives us a bit more information so the problem card it's interesting because the problem card is the queen of swords but she's looking away over there so she's not she's got the sword which is good energy for this week because if we look at the rest of the readings you'll understand what that is and she's I think the, the otter was telling me he didn't want to be ignored so I'm taking it away from there <laughs> I wasn't really saying that, by the way. I'm just, just saying that. <laughs> but um, they're saying to me to say to you guys that you kind of turned your back on this. This is what the problem is. This is why we're feeling this. Because you've turned your back on your sovereign authenticity and your autonomy. And you're kind of giving that up a little bit. Maybe today on this Friday. There's something that's possibly bringing that through. But it won't apply to all of you because it's global reading, right? So do remember that. But it's like... For some of you, this is what's happening. Someone's going to needle you or and you'll give your power away a little bit without realising it. There is the butterfly of transformation on this, though, and it's asking me to say to you, the angels are asking me to say to you guys that 
you need to be aware that life is like that. We go through these opportunities and experiences that ask us to be more than we are. And often we, um, we struggle with that, right? We struggle on a higher level with that. I'll put this here. Does it work? Oh, will it work? Yeah. Yeah, so you can't really see it, can you though? But it's there. Yeah, so we struggle with that. And we, we struggle with um, kind of making that who we really are. The, the problem is saying that you've turned back to the old you. And I think from, well, the angels were actually telling me from this perspective, the old you was the one that gave away their power and was allowing other people to make decisions and you were looking for validation, that kind of thing. So the this problem is linked to the energy of the day. So let's see what the solution is because it will help us to understand. No, that's not helpful. It's not helpful. Let me say two, four, six, eight. Well, actually, no, it is helpful. You're feeling wounded because like, we, we looked at this. We looked at the energy of the devil. We've looked at the energy of you looking back with this queen of swords, but not really being the problem being the fact that you don't really think you deserve this. And this has kind of got the same energy in it. But the angels are saying to me, well, that's crazy because you're in a new beginning because it's tech. You've ended. You've completed it. You completed the cycle of this. Well, my chest's hurting though. It's like you guys don't want to move forward to the next. You're clinging to the past. That's what they're telling me. So what's the solution, angels? Because this isn't going to give them a solution. Okay, they want me to do another card. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll send one more card. There we go. Is that the one? Yeah. So yeah, they're saying that it's, you, you're clinging to something, an outmoded thought, idea. Ah, explains it. So the solution is actually for you to move into your... It was, it's the same solution as we had yesterday. And if you don't know what I'm talking about and you didn't watch the reading, do check it out. Um, it's the same solution. You're moving into this is the high priestess energy, but it's the energy of the sage, the master. It's you mastering your life and being willing to step into who you really, really, really are. They're saying to me to say this, it's not necessary for you to, to be in that energy. Now, it is interesting because on the 8th of May, we had our new moon in Taurus. And the new moon in Taurus was all about stability, comfort, safety, materialism, that kind of thing, right? Now this here, you see this moon here, because obviously it's getting a bit bigger because we're in the 10th. Because we went from dark, we go from dark with the new moon to light. And this is what they're saying to me, you need to go from the dark to the light. You need to step into who you truly are. And kind of stop, because you look at that, like that's we're going into the full moon here. So as we get to that, that's, that's the timeline you have for this. It's to release that which is negative for you. Release the negative for you. Okay, I'll make that worse. Stay. It's not going to fall out. I don't know why I'm doing it, but it's just easier for me. <laughs> so release the negative that's been brought to you through that energy um, and allow yourself to cleanse and clear what doesn't really. Make an intention. This is what they're saying to me to tell you. Make an intention to bring in a softening into your life, because softening is what you need right now. This energy here that you've gone through, I'm just gonna get them all. This energy here, this of the devil of someone stepping into your space or you giving your power away, then looking back, not really getting it, kind of trying to cling on to the past. It's not you, because this is you, and you, you're you almost, I, kind of, I, I can't shoot the coat, the angels are saying, you're almost afraid of who you're gonna be. And they're saying it's time to start to accept that you need to move into who you're meant to be. I hope that makes sense, my lovelies. That was amazing. I love doing these readings for you. Everyone, if you are called and you would like a reading with me, do check out my website, www.selfloveselfcaresystem.com. I offer these beautiful angel soul readings. We don't have to be in person if you don't want to. I do do in-person work as well. So if you want to work with me, you can do. And you just need to... Hit my website up, check the offerings, and book yourself a, a, a session with me. But if you want um, something that isn't in person, I do soul reading, an angel soul reading, which is an audio or a written report. You can get that as well. So do check it out. So, yeah, have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Um, do subscribe if you haven't already and if you're new to my page. And I do welcome you if you're here on this channel. It's wonderful to have you here. And also do check out the videos if they're of interest to you. Namaste, everyone. Have a beautiful, beautiful Friday, a beautiful, beautiful Saturday and Sunday. And I will see you on the 13th, the Monday, 13th of May. Send you all so much love. Mwah, kisses. Bye, bye, bye.